Hey, and welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, I'm covering Below Deck Mediterranean, Season 5, Episode 8, Rise and Don't Shine. Oh, what a good episode. I thought it was really good. I feel so bad for Kiko. I love Kiko. I hope he doesn't get fired. And I know I'm biased, but I'm glad to see that Hannah's getting called out for her BS a little bit. So let's get into it. So we pick back up with the first night of charter for these guests. Uh, they're saying that they want more food. The dinner has not gone well. Poor Kiko continues to have his meltdown in the kitchen. I feel so bad for him. He's got such a good attitude, but he's really feeling defeated. We see Malia and she's having a conversation with Rob. They're talking about Pete getting demoted and, you know, Yay that he got demoted. <laughs> Bugsy is trying to help out with service here. They make a point to show Hannah popping pills. They actually show it twice in the episode. And while I'm not a Hannah fan, I thought that was very strange. And it's it's like they're blaming her behavior on this. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know if that's for me to say, but very interesting that they showed this scene two times during the episode. It's the second day of charter and it's breakfast time. Captain is in the galley. She's asking Kiko how the dinner went. And he says that they liked it, but that he wasn't happy with his own service. He talks about wanting to get more organized, do a better job in his presenting of the dishes. The captain's trying to encourage him. I think she's micromanaging. Uh, we'll see later that there is a time where she should be micromanaging. I don't know if this is the time or not. So then we go over to Jessica. And let's talk about Jessica for a second. I have liked her this season. Um, I started off really liking her. I'm kind of less into her the last episode and now this episode. It's awful that she had an accident with her fingers. But, I am I mean, we're kind of seeing her attitude come out. So, I'm very curious what you guys think. Is it just me? Am I being too harsh? What do you guys think of, of Jessica? We'll talk about it later when we get to the Bugsy stuff. I'm just curious. Because we're seeing more and more of, you know, her just kind of, like, taking her time and complaining and smooching with Rob. And I'm just curious what you think. So, then we have Malia and the deck crew. And it's kind of weird. I think they're looking for drama here. It wasn't too bad. Malia's trying to encourage Rob and Alex to hurry up and move a little faster. And Rob's being, I don't know what you want to call it, but he's talking about picking up on her negative energy. And uh, he apparently hurt his toe yesterday. And Alex is trying to go find some manual to try to get the jet skis working. It was a whole thing. I didn't care for Rob in this scene. I didn't like how he's talking to Malia about her negativity and stuff. When she, I thought she was being pretty reasonable. There's times where I think she's harsh. I don't think this was that time. Uh, and I thought he was just kind of pushing back against her. But I don't think it was that big a deal. I think they were just looking for drama in the deck department. Oh, back to Kiko. Poor Kiko. He's really beating himself up. He's saying last night was a disaster. There's a chance to show what I can do again. He's really trying. I think he's really making an effort with the guest. He says he's going to do the best he can here. He has a meeting with the primary charter guest. He's really going to try to kill it with lunch. He's making sushi. The guest talks about ponzu sauce. That'll come up later, but I, I really felt really feel for Kiko. So then we go over to Bugsy. Let's talk about Bugsy. Okay. So I am a big Bugsy fan. I have gotten comments that a lot of you guys are. I've also gotten comments that some of you guys are not. I get it. I see your point. I really do. I, I, I could see where some people might take it that she comes across as like trying to show up Hannah. I personally don't see it that way. I think she's just an enthusiastic worker. And I, I think that Hannah, I don't know how else to say it. She sucks. <laughs> so when Bugsy comes across as enthusiastic, it does make look, it, may, it makes Hannah look bad, but I get why some people might feel the opposite way. Um, but here I just thought I felt for Bugsy. I did. I thought, you know, she's radioing Jessica and Jessica was really giving her a hard time on the radio saying she couldn't understand her. 
And maybe she couldn't, but there's a nicer way to handle it, especially with somebody who's your superior, to ask them to repeat what they're saying. But Jessica's kind of showing her smart ass side. Bugsy says she's frustrated, she's trying to help Jessica, and she's just getting these smart ass answers. So I felt for Bugsy here, I did. So then we, she's running around super fast trying to get everybody to move. Kiko has made this beautiful sushi lunch but she cannot get Jessica or Kiko to move faster. Kiko says, this is not McDonald's. I can't crank out orders like this. It's a whole thing. I feel for Kiko. I did feel like, again, Jessica was kind of giving her attitude when she was asking for coffees. I just felt for Bugs because she was doing the best she could. She's really good with the guests and she does a good job, you know, making sure that they're taken care of and comfortable and not letting them know how chaotic it is behind the scenes. So then we go to evening, not much happens here. So we're gonna go ahead on to dinner. So with dinner, the important thing is the mariachi band is arriving and they're really trying to get it timed out right. Of course, we know time unfortunately is not, the timing is not Kiko's strong suit, but they set a beautiful table here. The guests are excited. And then unfortunately, oh, I was just hoping for a win for Kiko, but it's not there. The guests are complaining. One say that they didn't want pasta. They're saying that the food's cold. There's some lady that's just not interested in eating. Uh, Hannah tries to get her something else. She's just not interested. Hannah tries the shrimp and agrees that it tastes good, but the texture is just off, which is surprising. On a Just on a yacht in the middle of the ocean, you'd think shrimp would be like the easiest thing to get. So. That was unfortunate to hear. Poor Kiko, I just wanna give him a hug. <laughs> he made this beautiful cake. It's actually one of the better looking cakes I've seen one of these boat chefs make. I thought it was really pretty. It's a carrot cake and they celebrate. So Bugsy's taking care of the guests and <laughs> they corner her while they're drinking and they ask her to play Mary Shag Kill and she picks to shag Kiko, marry Alex and kill Peter. I agree with those choices. I think I'd probably pick the same, which was uh, it's pretty funny. After Bugs leaves, we do see the guests uh, talking. They do say that they love Bugsy and that she's better than Hannah. Again, I think it's interesting that the editors left that part in. I wonder, wonder if she ticked off people in production or something, Hannah. <laughs> or if they just see what I see, which is she is not happy and not great at her job. Okay, so let's talk about this. Poor Kiko. Oh my goodness. So it's the breakfast from hell. It's the next morning. He's determined to do a good job. He's He looks like he's really trying. He's getting stressed. Look at his poor face here. So it's 8.38 when the guests have gotten up. And they tell Jessica that they're going to try to have everybody up for 9 a.m. breakfast. Well... Then it gets real weird. Hannah asks Jess to vacuum and she works on laundry. The guests are just sitting at the table and it's 920 and no, it's 40 minutes after they sat down and nobody's attending to them. We see this guy pouring his own water. 930, which is almost an hour later, the captain comes out. Even if there's a miscommunication between Jess and Hannah, which I'm sure there was, I don't understand why naturally one of them wouldn't just go out and check on the guests. It just doesn't make sense. Not to jump ahead, but later in the episode, the captain says that they're too focused on themselves and they're not focused enough on the guests. And while Captain Sandy bugs me this season and I don't always agree with her, I, I thought that was a pretty good point. Uh, that does seem to be what they're doing. And it's it's coming across by their lack of paying attention to the guests here. So Captain comes out to talk to them. The guests say the crew haven't been taking care of them, that no one's been up to check on them. When confronted, Hannah says Jess was supposed to radio her. Uh, maybe the editors cut that out. I don't know. We didn't actually see that part. So Captain's pissed, she radios Jess to come start taking food out to the table. The Captain's yelling in the galley saying, this is ridiculous. It's 9.30, Hannah goes out to, I feel bad for Kiko here. I don't think this part was his fault. I think it was a miscommunication. And I think in this case, maybe Jessica didn't think about it. Maybe Hannah didn't think about it. Some combination of the two. 
So Hannah shows back up with the drinks and they're messed up. They get the wrong ones. She offers to get them new ones, but they're just so frustrated it, it just doesn't happen. Uh, there's a whole thing where she didn't take the egg order. Captain's getting more and more mad and it's just not going well at all. Meanwhile, the deck crew is getting mad because they set up all the toys and slide and all that. The guests, and then they're supposed to wrap them back up at 11. Because of the mix up with breakfast, the guests don't even start to play until about 10.36. So they really don't have much time. In the meantime, Sandy is just so mad. She goes to find Hannah. She says after the tip meeting that she needs to have a chat with her. Before you know it, it's time for the guests to stop with the toys and start packing up. Uh, I think if I were the guests, I'd be pissed about breakfast and ask for extra time, but maybe they can't do that. I don't know. Uh, Malia and the deck crew are cleaning up the toys, picking it up fast. Sandy lets Malia drive the boat from anchor, which is a big deal for Malia. She's very excited. So there's this whole thing here with Hannah and Jessica. I think Hannah's trying to pass blame. I think this is something she does. Maybe not. I don't know. But here, I, that's how I took it. She asked Jessica if she feels like she's doing her best job. Jessica says yes. I feel like I'm giving it all. Sandy sounds like she's missing some of her laundry. Hannah asks Jess about it. Jess says she hasn't done any of Sandy's laundry at all this charter. So I really wonder what's going on there. They made a point before to show where Jess says these things like she, you know, she's lost her shirt during laundry and says it's just gone and then Hannah has to go find it for her. So I really wonder what's going on. She's, you know, she makes these bold statements like she hasn't done the laundry. I wonder if that's true. Curious if that'll come up next week. So they dock for guest departure. The guests leave. They said they had an amazing charter and grateful for the experience. But they did say, I know some of the people were not crazy about the food. I think the service, there were times we were waiting for the food. And then they said Bugsy was so nice and so helpful and thanks so much. And then they give the tip. So that, again, I'm a Bugsy fan. I know some of you guys are not. I'm sure... I'm sure everybody has an opinion on that. I, I think it speaks for itself if the guests were so complimentary of her. So they have their tip meeting. Uh, Captain says, I think we failed because the priorities are about us and not on the guests. Breakfast was a disaster. We're all tired. I'm tired of having the same conversations. We're on charter four. I wanna finish with all of you, but if I can't do that, I will have to let some people go. Turns out they made 1,500, which is 1,100 euros per person. Hannah says she's gonna have a glass of wine while she works, which again, they're making a point to show pills and alcohol, so that's interesting. Captain pages her to a meeting. Captain says she wants to check in with Hannah. She says, you're different, you're not you. Hannah says, since when? And Captain says, You've had a lot of challenges, Hannah. I brought Bugs on to help you, not replace you, but it's like you've resigned. And Hannah says that's a shock to her. And Captain says you either have a passion or you're meek and timid. And Hannah to camera says she's effing tired. Captain brings up with Millen and Mila and Anastasia that uh, Hannah was not afraid to speak up, but with Kiko, she's not saying anything. I don't know that this is fair. I think Kiko, I think Kiko's timing sucks, but I think his food looks good. They, I mean, I know he's had some hiccups and he makes that same dish a lot, but people seem to like his cooking. So I, of all the things to pick on Hannah about, I don't know that that was the right, the right thing. So after their meeting, Captain calls Kiko to the bridge. She says to him, you've given me a thousand percent, but I would rather have the food than the personality. I'm worried that I want, she says she's worried and she wants them to go wow and that they can't be average. They're paying for spectacular. She tells him that he has to kill it for her, this charter in every capacity. Otherwise she'll have to find another chef. <gasps> no, Kiko, he's such a nice guy. He's so much nicer. We came off a uh, below deck sailing where Adam was such a jerk. It's just nice to have a nice guy for once in the galley. Oh, don't let him go. Okay, so we see a flash to next time. 
Malia says to Hannah that Jess says they are not washing crew uniforms anymore, it sounds like. Captain to Hannah says she gets her right this charter or they're going to find another third stew. Talking about Jessica, of course. Jessica then confronts Malia and says, next time talk to me so it doesn't go to Captain, which again, that weird attitude is coming up. But Malia has to jump in and help one of the charter guests. So it looks like an excellent episode. I'm finally really enjoying the season. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. And that's it for me. I'm covering Below Deck Med, of course. I'm covering Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Real Housewives of New York. I'm covering Potomac. So be sure to check out my other episodes. Leave me comments. Hit that like button and subscribe. And I so appreciate everything. I love talking to you guys about the shows, about your thoughts. Even if you disagree with me, I like to hear it. So thank you so much for everything. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.